Hi, and welcome back. Today we're going on to the actual gluing together of the baseboard. Um, remember, the I got this off of eBay. It's a sectional uh, board which I'm going to make a railway layout with my Hornby 003 rail. It's made by a company called Grange and Hodder. I think I said it was Granger in the first one, but it's not. It's grangeandhodder.com. Um, and they make custom baseboards um, and like I say they advertise on eBay so what I've done um, I've got a table here and on top of the table I've got the actual cardboard box that it come in which I'm going to use to protect everywhere from the glue um, a glue that I use quite a bit um, is the uh, Evo stick um, which is a wood glue. Um, this one's for interior use. I'm not planning to have this outside, or if I am, it won't be out while it rains. They also recommend you get yourself something like a J cloth, have it damp so that you can wipe off the surplus glue. So I'm going to start at this far end. Okay, you can see this is the actual top, and it's laid on this to keep it dead flat. So the first piece that I'm going to put on in this case will be the one on the end um, because it's easier for you to see if I work that way so what you do is you just open up the nozzle on the glue very simple and just start to go along all of the bits like this and sometimes it starts going that's it that's because it's probably a bit cold and we can just put the glue into there like so and then you can see what uh, is going on don't need too much on that bit it's more like that these bits here will be touching the inside the other bit will come through so that's it like that a little bit in there a little bit in there and so on okay i think what we do is just wipe that off there because these bits are the bits that are going to come through the top of the baseboard. Right, so we'll take that piece down the other end now. And it's all pre-cut. So all you need to do really is to push that in and butt it up as firmly as you can. You can just run your finger along to form like a bead, a bit like you would if you were welding, for those of you that do welding. So uh, that's that. Now, you've got these three of these to go along from there they got holes through the center which obviously you can use to put your cable in through so again just glue these up put them nicely like that i've had a dry run of this which uh, i recommend that everybody has a bit of a dry run just to make sure but i didn't have to force anything into place every single piece fitted as it said you do get the instructions really tell you what to do but it identifies each bit and I think um, from looking at the picture of the advert on eBay um, it doesn't take much working out as to how it all goes so that bit's glued now and now pushing that through into there and again just running my finger along the bead to make like a bead of weld you can always add to that which I might do in a minute once I've got all the pieces in position. So that's it. Right, and then for the next one, it's very simple. This quite repetitive, but it's uh, quite a pleasing thing. Now I have ordered the next piece of baseboard. Now the next bit, because I thought initially I was just going to build end to end. The thing is with that, you really, with the length that I was going to make it, you need two people. We can't always have two. And when you are perhaps done some work on a loco and you want to run it for a little while to run it in or just see how it performs, because sometimes some of these um, old Hornby locos, they go all right for a little while and they kind of get worse after a while. I don't know what kind of happens, whether it's to do with the magnetisation of it or whatever, but they seem to get slower and slower and then perhaps stop. So what you really need and what I'm going to build into this railway is a complete loop to start with 
so that if I'm doing anything on a loco and I'm on my own, I can just run this round and, um, well, one, you get a bit of fun with running the locos round because I don't know about you, but I've uh, it's just the sound of them going round and round that, um, I don't know, does something, it calms you down. So uh, perhaps it's a part of the why we're the mindful modeler, uh, model maker, because uh, it, uh, it, I don't know, there's something just very satisfying about the Hornby, um, very old Hornby stuff. Um, I don't know if everyone else has got the same feeling, but it's, it's very kind of naive, um, but the way it's built, it uh, is very good. And uh, well, considering the age of it, and, and a lot of it is still running, I know one of the reasons probably is because it wasn't so much a toy in the early days because of the price of it. I mean, when Tryang came out, obviously the price started to reduce for model railways. Uh, not so much now. Tryang Hornby now is uh, quite expensive, um, but it's because it has decoders and it has sound and various other things in. So obviously um, it's more realistic than than what you would with the the early Hornby stuff, but. This early Hornby stuff, some of this that I've got is very old, but it's still in good condition and it, and it runs. So there we are. So that's why we're going to build this preserved railway so that we can preserve it. Right, so we've got all them bits on there like that. And I have the last bit. I'm just going to see if the last bit gets in the way of the camera. You can tell the ends because they've got the four extra screw holes because there's an extra plate that can go on that on the inside for reinforcing and you can use your kind of nut and bolt method through with a butterfly nut to release them but we'll go more into that when we get another section and we can join the two together so this bit goes on the end here it's not really going to get in the way so i think we'll uh, we'll glue that on so that's drying as well so that's the last bit yeah so the, the layout now is a slight change. I haven't written any plans down yet for the layout. But basically, we're going to have a circuit, an oval, um, with crossovers from one side to the other. And then it will have the branch line bit, which will go off to form the end-to-end -end section. And we'll do it like a branch line. Uh, and the other bit is just mainly so that I can film things just going round and round. And just have things running to run them in so there we are on that so we're now going to just put the end bit in here that's it that's all done good right so that's that now the next piece is one of the long pieces which like that quite a long section full length of the actual baseboard itself so We'll glue that up and then we'll put that in. a little bit more fiddly because you have to line everything up um, to go into it. So what I'll do first is I'll glue along the bottom bit here so that uh, this bit will go on top of the other. And then once I've got all this in, I'll then just go around and form some beads with the glue just until it sets. And then obviously no good moving it until it sets because obviously it could all fall apart, which you don't really want. So best thing to do, I think, is just to do this like this. That's it. Get that done like that. And then when the next ball comes, which may only be about a week or so, again, I'll do the unboxing. This is a curved board that's coming. I don't know whether I need one or two of them to complete a complete curve one end. I'm not sure yet. Um, but when I get it, we'll have a look at it and we, we can actually see what we need then from, from then on in. So we'll just put a spot of glue on these bits here so that that uh, can go through. And then what I'll do, I'll glue them from the other side when it comes through so that we know that we've got that on like that. That's it, so that's glued up and ready. So I'll just pop that over there out of the way for a couple of seconds, like that. And then just pop this end one in, 
and then we can just connect it right the way along so that's all in that's it I think what happened now is I knocked it over it to slide in so that I can get the whole thing quite square okay right so now we are going to put this piece along this edge like so so we do it a bit at a time it's a bit kind of fiddly but uh, once you've edged it in it does work I know that because I've done it right. We've got one corner in there like that. And then what we do is just work our way along, just lining it, pushing it. We'll get it roughly in and then we can go back along and tighten up everything that we need to. I have seen one guy put in some, a similar type of construction together and he uses screws just to reinforce. Well, I'm going to see if we need that or we don't need that. It doesn't say anything about that. So the possibility is that we don't. So we're quite a way along now. So we're, we're getting into the final bits. Just a piece of manipulation to get it in. That's it, that's in there, that's in there. And then finally, the last bit of the end here. So we have that now glued in. It's come out a little bit there, but it's not too bad. Right, good. So that is that part all in now. So we've got the back on, then obviously it's just repeating the same for the front piece. Um, and then this is where we have these. So I'll put it up this end and you can see it just up there. If you, it fits nicely to the bottom and the holes line up. So all you really need to do on that is to put a bit of glue all around like this. On there. Don't want to go too near the edge because as you squeeze that on, it will obviously ooze out. So keep it in from the edge a little bit. And just pop this on the inside like so and that then makes a support for the end like so and you get four of those all together so close up view of that is there so i take it you can screw them on as well um just to make it stronger this glue, I've never, I've never really had anything come to pieces when I've used it, so I may not need screws. It just depends, but as time goes on, we might find that we need them. So we can just update as we go. And then this one goes on this end, like so. You can just look along and you can see the holes line up pretty good. If they didn't, you could just run a drill bit through just to line them up anyway. The most important bit is the centre hole which is going to join you to the next baseboard. So, right, so we have them on there like that now. And what I'm going to do now is just go along with the glue, like so, and I'm going to make like a fillet. So all I do is a long, a long line of glue, like so, and stop, and then I get my finger and just run it along. A bit like you would if you were putting the the uh, sealant around the edge of your bath just like that use your j-cloth to wipe the reason i use a j-cloth is because when it's finished you can just throw it away if you use another cloth with the glue you'll find perhaps that um you will uh, mess up the cloth and then end up having to throw it away because if you don't wash it out properly it'll just go hard so there we are right so that's the fillet there I'm just going to go all the way along now, both sides, and show you what I would do just to just to strengthen it. So I just use my finger at an angle and push the glue in. What the surplus, just wipe it off. So if you go along all the way around now, doing that, then let that set. I know I've got the end piece to go on here, but I just want that so I can get in and do all of that and then
then I will put that bit on last. So that's that part of it. So what I'll probably do is make a short video after this is dry so that we can upend it and look all around to see if there's anything that's um, not right. Um, but so far it's going together and even with that just there for a few seconds, it's, it's quite strong. So anyway, I think what we do now, leave it for there. So the next bit, when it's all glued, I will show you that. And then of course, I'm gonna paint them and I'm gonna paint it in a traditional type color that you would get on a Hornby 003 rail type board, which is green on the top. And then I might try and find the orange to go around the sides just to make it look like a Hornby 00 layout. So anyway, that's me for now. And um, I will see you very shortly with the next video showing what it's like when it's put together. Thank you. Bye now.